Hey everyone, a few weeks ago, I basically did a video on my 2017 Chevy where I replaced the AGM battery. This is basically the 60 amp AGM battery. I want to use it for solar projects and I still plan to do it. Uh, but something else happened a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. California actually had a lot of rolling blackouts because of the high winds and potential fires and infrastructure stuff. So. What happened was that a friend of mine, well, one of the commenters on the YouTube channel basically commented that, hey, why not do a, you know, a Chevy Vote um, generator, emergency generator and inverter um, video. So, haven't done it yet, but what I did was I, I love that suggestion and I already use a lot of inverters in my cars like this one. So, this is a quick unboxing of the Duracell high power inverter. This is the 3000 continuous watt output um, inverter that I bought from Costco. This is actually about what, two or $300? I think it was 300 something dollars on online. This is actually about, um, they have a special sale right now for like 200 and 260 or so, I think out the door, um, mailed to me. So Costco actually has this on sale online. Go ahead and check out the links below for the Costco link um i they also scale this at amazon i think for a lot more closer to around i think for closer to 300 something to 400 dollars so it's around 300 something dollars for something like this for a 3000 uh, watt continuous uh, inverter but for what i need to do the chevy vote should be able to generate a lot of power and do it so this is basically a quick unboxing of this so long story short yes i'm gonna do an unboxing normally what i do is i carry this around it's a 150 watt power inverter this is what I got off of Amazon for like 10 or $15. This is what I usually use when I work um, in my car, you know, when I'm traveling and stuff to power up my laptop so I could work, you know, for hours, you know, if I needed to, or to charge up stuff as well as work on my laptop. Anyways, long story short, I usually use a small tiny inverter like this in the car that just plugs into the, you know, to, into the cigarette lighter, the 12 volt cigarette lighter. And this is actually pretty useful. I'll leave a link below too. But if I'm, I can't power a refrigerator with this, so that's why it's like I could have got a 1,000 watt or so, but I bought this 3,000 watt because it was on sale on at Costco and also on Amazon. So there was, um, like I said before, it was on sale. And this is a quick unboxing. I already took, I think, most of the stuff out already, but ah, instructions and this. But it was just basically packed up, really well packed, and they drop shipped cost from Costco to me. So. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually shipped in that box and just a little cover more of it. There's another box that covered that. It's a very, very, very large inverter and it's pretty heavy too. It comes with these heavy duty, really heavy gauge um, cables that are supposed to mount to the 12 volt battery. I need to figure out, I mean, on my car, I think there's already places you actually just slip this thing on and just mount it. Um, at the same time, this is a pretty heavy gauge uh, wire. Let's take a quick look. 108WAG, yeah, pretty pretty thick stuff. Anyways, it has the power of the negative ones there as well. Um, and it also comes with a remote on off switch, which is really cool. This is a metal on off switch. And if you wanna know, this is metal. The reason why is because they can mount it to places. It doesn't come with any screws or anything, but it does come with like five, 16 feet of, um, 16 or five, 16 feet of uh, telephone cable where it has a switch. And it goes down to basically, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's on this side? Nope, it's on this side. The three prong outlets, and then there's a little remote um, switch there, which is really cool. It has volts and watch switches and stuff. There's three of these uh, 12, um, 115 volt um, outputs for three prong outputs, and each of them are individually you know, on off switch. Also, this has an on off switch as well. Uh, but overall, it's pretty awesome in terms of that. So that was a really, really quick unboxing. Not really, but it also has three fans. It has um, These are actually bolt-ons in terms of uh, the cable wiring. The only thing I worry about is that if something falls on top of this, it might just cause a shock or something or a short. Not really that cool about that, but since I'm going to you know, mount everything, I'll probably cover it later. There's a grounding screw right there, and that's what I need to figure out because... If I'm going to power my household devices, I need to actually ground it to basically a, a ground stake or something else to actually ground it. So I'll have to figure that out and do some research on that first. 
Uh, but if I'm just going to power like um, 12 volt devices, I could just basically ground it to the chassis of the car, which you know what is what the instruction says, I think. So the Chevy Volt is actually pretty interesting. It generates, I think, um, I think 1500 watts or even a thousand something watts of power to the 12 volt to generate have power for that. So definitely, I don't want to overuse what my car could generate, or also just drain the battery. But I might consider this is definitely going to be for my solar project where if I have solar panels, I'm going to charge up you know, multiple one of these um, and have some more golf cart batteries and basically have that as a power wall or maybe thinking lithium or something right now. But I'm thinking simple in terms of that or maybe getting some old Chevy Volt batteries but and then inverting it with a 3000 watt inverter so I could power my household or a garage with, um, with uh, solar power. But as an emergency set unit, this will be pretty interesting to, sh to mount onto the Chevy Volt, even from direct you know, battery to um, to the inverter with a fuse and a grounding. But according to what this says, right, on the installation, this is actually a 25, uh, 250 amp at 3000 watt inverter. And it has all the other fun stuff. Um, where was the fun one? The boat connection terminal, that's for that. I think where I read was pretty interesting here. Oh, come on. So, this was pretty neat. So, if I was going to power my household according to what this um, thing says, right? A circular saw uses a 1600 watts. So, if I'm going to use a circular saw and stuff, which is probably what I'm going to do, or use it to control, well, my laptop computer is fine at 150. But what I'm going to use this for in case of emergency is probably the saw tools as well as household appliances like a refrigerator. So I'm guessing if I use this as a power supply for my household, I'm going to just turn off most of everything except for my refrigerator. And that's probably going to use, I'm guessing, anywhere from, you know, a thousand watts. So I'll probably just leave that going. Because I think the Chevy Volt, I'm not sure how much it really does, um, you know, generate to the 12 volt battery to charge it up. But with the Chevy Volt, you have a huge traction battery that holds like, I think about 17 to 18 kilowatt hours of energy. And it powers, it does a um, DC to DC inverter to the 12 volt for like, I think a thousand to a thousand five hundred watts. I don't know. I, I, I don't really know, but I know that by reading the forms, it was not like 3000 watts. So. I would say just run like one major device on there and not exceed that thousand watt uh, amount so it doesn't drain the you know the AGM battery. But I might actually put multiple AGM batteries together to do it if I actually do do a um, a larger setup. But for the small setup, you know, in case I just need power for the refrigerator and stuff, this should be more than enough to do it. Anyways, I just figured I'd share a quick unboxing and stuff and what what came in this box. Um, like, subscribe. Thanks for the comments. That's first. And thanks for watching. Uh, definitely like and subscribe to this channel um, for more Chevy Volt stuff, um, unboxings, and stuff I get at Costco, stuff I get at online. And, you know, I can't wait. I can't wait to do this project. It's going to be probably a couple of weeks before I post anything else on this one since I have so much other things I need to get done. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell button for more. And again, leave, a, leave some comments below if you set up like your own inverter setup with your Chevy Volt or as an emergency power supply for yours, uh, because I would like to learn and know other than, you know, that'll be nice to know as well. But take advantage of that uh, discount. It's on sale right now at Costco.com. I'll leave a link below um, as well as the Amazon link below too. And of course, there are affiliate sites. So, you know, I really don't care if you click on it or not, but just letting you guys know this is like 200 and... 220 bucks plus tax or something like that, but normally it's like 300 bucks. So there was, or 270 or something, but it was a pretty awesome deal. So I decided to just jump on it since California, we don't know if we're going to have another rolling blackout or not. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.